Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Vet channel. I am Dr. P. R. Patel, Professor Head Veterinary Medicine. In this lecture, we will study the last part of Trypanosomiasis part 3. Trypanosomiasis is a protozoal disease and in this lecture, we will study the diagnosis, difference of diagnosis, treatment and control of trypanosomiasis. Diagnosis is based on history. Here the history of presence of or prevalence of trypanosoma evans infection in an area and prevalence of or presence of biting flies in an area. The diagnosis also based on characteristic clinical signs. We have already seen the clinical signs in previous slides. Important and confirmatory diagnosis is direct examination of Jimsa stained blood smear. The clinician can see the tips in the smear. Presence of parasite is confirmatory. Another examination is weight blood examination or weight mount examination or hanging drop method examination. In this, in the weight preparation, there is a live tips are seen. The movements of the parasite can be easily seen. It catch our eyes. This is also a confirmatory diagnosis. In chronic cases, there is examination of thick and thin blood smears. Because in chronic cases, sometimes the parasitemia is very less. So it may require thick blood smear or limb smear. And this blood smear or limb smear is taken at the height of temperature. At other time, the parasitemia is very less. But at the height of temperature, parasitemia is more. So generally the samples are collected at the height of temperature to give the precise diagnosis. In continuation of the diagnosis, for the diagnosis, certain chemical tests are also performed. Serum protein level and beta and gamma globulin level is increased in affected animal. Important is low blood glucose level. This is because of two reasons. One is in disease case, the animal is off it or inappetent. So one reason is of starvation or anorexia. There is hypoglycemia. Second reason is the TRIPS parasites multiply by binary fusion. They multiply very fast and the activity is also very fast. So these changes require more glucose. So they consume more glucose and so there is hypoglycemia. Fast multiplication and active protozoa causes hypoglycemia. Certain non-specific tests are also performed and they are less reliable, not confirmatory, such as molecule chloride test, formal gel test, thymol turbidity test and these tests are used in camel. The another tests are tilbamide test that is used for the diagnosis of latent infection in bovine, but they are not sure, not reliable. Biological test such as mice inoculation test detects even a mild infection because few protozoa can also multiply into the mice and they produce a disease. Immunodiagnostic tests are indirect FAT, complement fixation test, ELISA, 
PSR and IHA is also precise diagnosis. Allergic tests are also performed but nowadays they are not performed and they are a doubtful test. Coming to the differential diagnosis, the similar symptoms are observed by many other diseases. But here in TRIPS or trypanosomiasis, the anemia is the main symptom. There is enlargement of the lymph node. Direct examination of GIMSA stained blood smear is confirmatory. There is encircling movement of the animals and fever. These are the, some of the characteristic symptoms by which we can make the diagnosis and in this the GIMSA state blood smear is more confirmatory. So similar symptoms are observed. The list is given here. Anthrax, snake bite, nervous ketosis, organic and inorganic poisonings, hypovitaminosis, milk fever, brain tumor and cyst. They are also produce similar symptoms. One or more symptoms are observed. But here examination of blood smears are the confirmatory diagnosis. Treatment Quinapyramine prosalt Examples are Tribexin or Antricide prosalt. This is the most effective drug and this drug is prophylactic as well as curative. It gives the prophylaxis for about 5-6 months. This quinoparine pro salt, they contain two salts, entry side methyl sulfate that is a curative agent, entry side chloride that is a prophylactic part. And it gives prophylaxis for about 5 months and is most effective drug. Suramine sulfonated naphthalamines is a curative. Naganol and tripod. Diamidines, diminazine acetate, baronyl is also a curative. Phenanthridine compounds such as humidium bromide and humidium chloride, pyrethidium bromide and isometamidium chloride. These other drugs are curative, but drug of choice and most effective drug is quinopyramine salt. In the treatment along with this drug, certain symptomatic treatment is to be carried out and supportive therapy is also to be carried out. Prevention and control aspects. It is very difficult task because disease is very widely spread. The reasons of this widespread are development of drug resistant strains due to misuse and underdoses during the treatment. Vectors are very widely spread and complete control is very difficult. Among the animals, domestic animals are latent and carrier stages. So they spread the disease. They are the potential source for the healthy animals. Wild animals, they are also act as a reservoir and extremely and impossible to control the trypanosomiasis in the wild animal. So by these steps, it is very difficult to control and prevent the trypanosomiasis. The reasons are there. But control strategies consist of two main parts. Prevention and control of infection and control of vectors. In next slides, we will see this thing.
prevention and control infection first there is identification of infected animals and identification of endemic area for that there must be a regular examination of blood of animal and immediate implementation of the preventive measures when positive animals are found there must be immediate isolation from the healthy animals during the outbreak and segregation of this infected animal into the fly proof state prompt treatment of the affected animal with effective drugs with sufficient dose both things are important prompt treatment otherwise the infection will spread very fast and with a sufficient dose to avoid the resistance strain chemo prophylaxis with preventive and curative drugs we have already seen in the treatment aspect that quinapyramine can be used as a prophylaxis the second part is control of vectors as early as possible because the vectors spread the disease very fast important step is hygiene and sanitation in the area or and in the farm proper disposal of dung and manure because these are the breeding places of the vectors proper drainage of the area the water lodge in an area is also a breeding place for the vectors regular use of insecticide spray to kill the vectors control of adult flies and aquatic larva in water streams in the ponds and the water lodges in the ditch adequate sunlight and ventilation in the house this is the additional measure sometimes sterile milk technique is also used for the control of vectors and use of traps nest or screens are also used for the control of vectors dear veterinarians requested to share this information to veterinary friends requested to subscribe this channel to promote the channel and thank you very much for observing this presentation thanks